Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Double D, and today we're doing another magnet fishing video. I'm here with the Red Ninja behind the camera. Hey. And right now we're at what was the place called? Farm Field Park. I'm not sure how well the audio is going to do because I forgot the boom mic. And. Um, gonna see what we can find here. Here we got a nice little dock and it day day. And as you can see we got some fast flowing water, a nice little um, boat launch. We're gonna set up and see what we can do. Hopefully we get a good week. Looks like a nice place. We got several locations here we're gonna try. And uh, any words day day? No. no. Okay let's see what we can do. Business and Tasha Magnet for the first time today. Man, it is windy out here today. Do put a little bit of a spin on it, Dede. Hurry up. First toss of the day. Carefully. Let it settle and I'll pull her in. get tangled. Feeling anything? Yeah. Well, keep pulling. Yeah. Will we get something on the first toss? Ooh. Don't step down there, Day Day. I can't guarantee that's safe. And I'm not taking you home if you're covered in water. You'll have to walk the three miles home. Will he make it? Will he not? Anything? Look at me, Dede. What'd you find? Giant rock. Magnetic rock. Is it magnetic? Try it to your magnet. Magnetic rock. Oh my. Toss it in the bucket. We toss the magnetic rocks in the bucket so we don't accidentally catch it again. Dede, your turn on the camera. I get my first toss. And keep your stuff out of the way so other people can use the dock too if they need to. Okay. Because he has to do it himself. Like I did my, with myself. Whoops. But it's okay if we accidentally drop the magnet in the water, we can catch it with the other magnet. Now, my treble hook and all that stuff is still back in the car. We gotta remember to get that before we go to the next location. Mm hmm. That's where I got it.
it untangled. about to give up here I dunked it in and boom a tent peg why there's a tent peg in this water which is I think it's pulling too fast for almost anything to stay here that that's cool going in the treasure tank but it's um Diddy, watch your hands it's, no it's not even in there anyways we finally found something today our first find of the day after how long have we been here? I don't know. Quite a while. This is a really nice spot. I, if I had a kayak, I'd launch from here. But there's just nothing in the water except for some druggies hypodermic needle that we're not going to touch. And, um, cool. Just hoping we find something else. We're about to move on to the bridge and pan. Turn the camera to face the bridge. Head over to that bridge right there. Site two, the two bridges didn't pan out because they had way too much metal around them. Now I'm under an overpass. Day Day checking out, of course. He's back at the car. Weak. But I'm gonna toss the line here a few times, see if I can catch anything under an overpass. Maybe someone threw something out of the window. I don't know. Well, let's find out. Okay, now since I don't have my cameraman anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and see Back there sitting next to the car, I have the car keys. Now, one of the reasons I wanted him with me, of course, is because these places are dangerous, and so it's good to have somebody with you and watch your back. But I have nobody to watch my back ever. Also, if you've never seen one of my videos before, you'll notice that I don't edit these things very well. So, you know, expect to see the bloopers and the bumpers. Now 
there's nothing to tie you, so I'm going to have to tie myself. Now when tying to myself, I like to use the over the shoulder method. If you just put it around your waist, chances are you're just gonna pull it down. what it is it might be a homemade sinker it most definitely magnetic and uh so much corrosion though i can't really tell what it is 
putt. It's going in the bucket. Move you over here. Get a better view of where I currently am.
way too many rocks in this water. I keep snagging. So we're gonna head down further on this river. See what I can find. And that right there is the end of another trip for Magnet Fishing. As soon as we got home, the grandson had to run to upstairs, probably watch TV. Lazy old bugger. But, um, leads me down here to, you know, clean the gear. Show you my treasures, what I found this time. And, um, I'm not actually sure if my phone's working right now, but if it's not, you know, well, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Everything smells like river water today. Let's gotta get all my magnets and the ropes and get that all cleaned up. Boy, could have cleaned his magnet if his life depended on it. Let's see, stuff I've found. Uh, yeah. Of course, found some bits of metal. Let's wash those off a bit, see if we can see anything else. No, it's just like. Sticks. Of course, found this thing. Looks like a homoid Europe uh, for the lure or sinker. Right, look at that. Yeah, I can't even tell what that is. A piece of couple. I'm gonna say someone's tapped a wire around the rock. That's all I can say. Could be wrong, but if I am, then I don't know what it is. And let's see, I think the only other thing I found that's another piece of that wire with just a couple scraps of steel, and that's about it. Well, I did old rusty steel. Can't really tell what it is, just some slag. Of course, I also found some, a couple pieces of rebar and a yeah, um, mesh steel, but that was beside the river, so I don't count that. I left it there because if I don't do this for the scrap pricing, maybe somebody else can use it. And that's pretty much it. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I did learn one thing today. I can don't really need anybody else to go with me magnet fishing. When I go, I suppose I go on my own now. But I'll see y'all soon. Please like, share, and subscribe, as I said. Um, tell me what you think. If you're from this area, have you had a hard time finding stuff in this dang river that flows so fast? I'm hoping next time to get. Well, boat docks seem to be really good, but well, no, we'll see. I'm babbling now. That means it's time to go. Y'all have a nice night. Catch you on the flip side. Double D, out.